good morning so today we'll be seeing a little different topic than pega and uh, so uh, the topic is whatsapp cloud api so you must have heard these things that pega i'm sorry meta or the facebook have released this whatsapp cloud api okay so let's first understand what is this api so this is api is given mainly for the businesses okay the people who are running their businesses through the whatsapp okay so that they can send a bulk masses okay to their customers about any offer or anything okay so for that we use this cloud api and also they can for the chatting purpose as well they can use it so basically handling that messages through your code okay so if like so like where you can use as a developer where you can use so if you are using any app if you are building any app okay where you are using whatsapp features for your customers then you can use it so let's just start and see how we can do that okay so if you search in google whatsapp cloud api you'll get this link okay so this is whatsapp business api cloud so just click on this link and here you can read more details but i have already gone through on a high level so i'll quickly show you so first things we have to click here get started once you land up to this page and then the the thing it is here it is saying that we have to uh, set up that register as a meta developer okay so if you have not like uh, so basically it will uh, if you have not registered as a meta developer or the facebook developer first things you have to do but i have already registered so i'll just click on this one so this link then so it will take you to the developer portal so you can see developer.facebook.com so then here we'll we'll be creating the app okay so app is required to connect between the facebook or the meta and then uh, uh, like for the authorization from our application so from like whatever the applications we are building and we are trying to send so basically it will give us some bearer token authorization token to send the message so here i'll create an app okay and just give um, and uh, you have to select the business for this one okay so here we are using uh, businesses and then click next and then here we'll give display name so we can just cloud api testings we can give you cannot give whatsapp or anything those are like restricted from the meta and then here you have to select a business account so if you're not selecting business account then uh, meta will or the facebook we will eventually create this okay so i have few so i'll just select the Qto meta that my youtube channel okay so i already have that facebook page so i'll just create an app now while creating an app it will ask you to enter your password okay because you are doing like you're creating an app okay so making some change to your account so now after that what it will do it will just create that account okay so we created it applications now what applications okay uh, after that developers applications what basically what facebook if, uh, like features we want to use okay so here we want to use we have a many okay instagram graph api and and a few other things marketing api web payments here what we are, what we wanted to use the whatsapp one so just click setup so once we click setup here what it will do the facebook you can see that they have generated temporary access okay it will get regenerated after 24 hours so, so now it is currently showing for 23 hours okay and then here test phone numbers uh, which meta have or the facebook have already added so this can be changed okay so send free message with provided test number you can use your own phone numbers which is subject to limit and pricing so that we can check let's see if you're using in real time or in productions so this is done okay so now here facebook is asking go and run in paste, um, postman and and send a message so basically these are the details okay either we can run through the command line as well or you can set up in postman so i'll show you how we can set up in postman and then also it is here it is asking to whom we want to send so initially if you are using uh, like if this is not registered for productions if you're just using for free then like uh, facebook will allow us to send to five numbers okay so we can add the whatsapp number so let's see if i'm able to do it so by continuing okay we'll be receiving that masses at the phone number okay so in the meantime okay let's wait let's wait for that okay if i'm receiving that okay so let's see if, I, if we're getting that and how we can set up that in postman so 
i'll show you so even if you're not receiving this one okay you can test in in your things but i'll, I'll show you how we can set up this okay so to set up that what we have to do we have to copy this br token in in header so if let's say if you're setting this one in postman so in postman the first things you have to do is you have to enter that this url masses url okay so so the message url is this one so we can copy this one so this is that url which we can copy and paste it as an endpoint url and then we have the post so we have to use post masses and then we have to uh, copy our authorizations token so we can copy our authorizations token and go to uh, authorizations and tab here and enter this detail so fine and in the body uh, we can copy this message and and then format it so we can copy this entire message so let's copy this entire message and place it here and uh, we can beautify from here okay so here you have to give the phone number so let's say i'll give my phone number four plus four three seven nine seven one six five so you need to make sure this has been verified from here okay if you have not verified it won't work so here you need to add a recipient and you need to verify and also in content type in header you have to pass this content type equals to applications json so here you can see that in in headers i have already added that content type applications json okay so now we can try that okay so once we'll hit it will try to send a message but we have not able to add it okay because i didn't receive still i am waiting for that otp there is some problem with facebook today okay i i like i was trying and didn't receive the otp but eventually it will like if you're trying later on okay and if you're not getting maybe we can reach out to facebook also uh, for the help we can send a message so once we get it okay that will work so let me click a uh, hit like send and then let's see what we are receiving okay if you're getting a response or not unknown path messages one second so there is a space okay so you need to make sure that endpoint url and everything is so you can see that we received a response from the facebook okay or that the whatsapp api is saying the recipient phone number is not allowed in that list so this is fine okay so basically we are able to connect to that api this is not working because our phone number is not added to that list okay so this is fine okay if you are able to add it you will be able to test it few more things is there is that here we are sending a message so what message it will send so here you can see that in template we have mentioned the template name equals to hello world okay so you can create a more template here because let's say you are doing for your businesses so definitely you want to send your message so here you can see that this is the hello world template which facebook has created for us and here this is the body masses okay which uh, and then header okay so this is the header and this is the body masses which facebook is sending okay through the whatsapp api team in the footer so if you are doing for your businesses okay you can create uh, your template uh, your template here so let me go again so here if you see we have a create template message and here you can send it what kind of a um, template like you want to choose okay what kind of a message you're trying to send so let's say marketing and then we can give test one something like that name or m1 marketing one and we can choose that uh, language as well we can choose the language as well so let's say uh, we'll just select english okay and then go ahead so you can see that now we're getting continue button and here we can type on uh, test or something whatever okay so in that way you can you can do that if you want to attach a media as well in the header that also you can do and in the body also we can right we even if you have that the bold italic okay whatever way you want to do add variable is also there okay because if you like you're uh, like doing the code code basically okay and you want to pass few things dynamically okay because let's say that for each and every person you want to refer hello mr x okay so that mr x will be dynamic it will come based on his numbers or based on like if you have already the number registered okay with you not the name registered with you so in that way we can create so the question is like from where we can compare so if we compare the google post masses okay so this is very similar to that one so google post masses is usually sent to the app okay a particular app so whatever the app you are using from there from the google post messages okay firebase messaging we can send it to any particular applications here we are directly sending to uh, whatsapp messenger okay so whatsapp messenger we are we are sending and like users can receive and then they can act on it okay so that is how we can configure this whatsapp api
for your businesses so that's it for today's session so it was a quick session on this one so try to you try to configure this one and see um if it is working for you okay so just to recap what you need is that the first thing you need a facebook page if you don't have any business page pega will create that okay sorry again i'm saying pega uh, facebook or meta will create that okay and and then the, the whatsapp number definitely you need it so here if you can see that you can add up to five numbers but unfortunately like i i tried on my number and i'm not receiving it but once it will be successful you'll, you'll receive this message and you'll see this in the response you see this you have just sent a message so that's it for today thank you thank you very much have a good day